Good Wednesday afternoon to you. Welcome to Shaving with Fuzzy. Williams, Wednesday, Wednesday, Williams. Goes together. Two peas in a pod. Peas and carrots. Have you want to look at it? It works. Uh, I also work tonight, so got to get a shave on, right? Got to be looking good. All right, so it's a Williams Wednesday. We're going to use Modern Williams. And today, uh, last night over on the, uh, at the original Safety 2 Toast, uh, there's a Father's Day PIF going on. And it's really nice. It's a uh, nine up in Canada is running it. It's got some really nice stuff in it, really good. So some people were posting pictures of their dads and stories of their dads and things. And uh, Tom White, out in California, my buddy, uh, y'all probably heard me talk about him before, was talking about his dad was a Williams and an uh, Old Spice guy. He could remember that. So uh, today is Williams and Old Spice, kind of a tribute shave. Got a little Old Spice here, the real stuff, not even the cheap stuff. Although some people will say even though this is the real stuff, it's the cheap stuff because it's different from the old stuff, which was the better stuff. And, uh, but you know, this is the actual cheap stuff these days. But anyway, we're not using that. So, uh, so that's going to be today. We're going to use a brush that Tom made. This is, uh, what he called his B400. It's got the big old Omega bore 9 in it. Now, I hear people every once in a while talking about how they like different scented soaps. They like to match soaps with aftershaves. I don't usually always do that. It doesn't matter. The, the scent's not going to stay around from the soap. I don't worry about it too much. But sometimes, you know, it is kind of fun. And uh, and then you have, like, when you have your, uh, the vintage Old Spice soap, it loses its scent, too, over over the years. So what I tell people is, you know, if you, if you want to match stuff up and if you want to have different scents but you don't want to stack a bunch of soaps up, buy unscented soap and then add a little bit of whatever your aftershave for the day is going to be to the top of the cake when you start making your lather it's not going to hurt the lather and it's uh you know you'll have that scent if that's what you like so what we're going to do today although williams is far from an unscented soap it definitely has that lemony citronelli bug soap thing that everybody talks about which you know some of us like but we're just going to take it we're just going to put a couple of uh couple of drops of our Old Spice right on top of it here. No big deal. Boy, my bottle's about out. I didn't realize that. I'm having to shake it hard to even get a couple of drops out. Okay, so uh, what do you do when that happens? Well, you know the show must go on, so we'll just switch over to a different bottle of Old Spice. But anyway, a couple of drops is all it takes. You're not blooming. You're not molesting the soap by adding a little scent to it. If you like uh, menthol, that's another thing you can do. Uh, I know like the shaved in, you can buy what they call the M-Bomb. It's a liquid, it's a menthol. I think it's in witch hazel maybe. I'm not, don't quote me on that one now. And uh, you can put a few drops of menthol on top of it and then you've got a menthol soap. And you can do it all with the same soap. You don't have to have a whole stack of soaps up and, and carrying on. So uh, anyway, another little tip from Fuzzy. And the scent pretty much washes off the cake so, and and uh, it'll, it'll air out. So the next time you want to use it with a different, uh, aftershave you won't have any problems another secret if you want to uh make scented soaps on some of the uh like arco and even williams and that kind of stuff if you'll grate it and spread it out and let it sit a lot of the the scent will go away and then you can pack it back into a shave stick or you can pack it into a, a another cake shape and uh you know add a little rose to it row there was actually a rose williams at one time and add a little menthol to it. There was actually a menthol Williams. I don't think adding scent to a soap is going to be a problem. I don't consider that as uh, molesting the Williams. Adding creams to it, adding other soaps to it, doing things to try to change how it lathers to make it better. That's molesting the Williams, and we don't do that. All righty. So also, you may hear uh, in the background some thunder every once in a while. That we're in our little thunderstorm uh, weather pattern down here in Louisiana right now had some big storms come through yesterday and sounds like it's kicking up out there again today so I get lucky tonight though I get to work a gate at work I don't have to be out roving running around the property so I'll just sit inside and monitor and scan people in and out and I don't know pretty much sit there and drink coffee and draw overtime is what it's going to amount to
<laughs> Gotta love being pussy sometimes, I'm telling you. But all right. And we got the Williams going. We didn't bloom the Williams. We're not beating the Williams to death. We're taking a nice big old bore brush. And we're making lather with the Williams. Again, this is modern Williams. So here we go. Gave her face a little wipe down there. We're in good shape. The uh, little bit of aftershave on top of the puck doesn't really affect the lather any that I've ever noticed. I have sometimes someone say, well, you know, you might not want to be shaving with alcohol on your face. And my answer was, well, just as quick as I get through shaving, I'm going to splash alcohol all over it, so I don't think it's a problem. And I still don't think it's a problem. All right, so dip in the water there. That's how we add water when we need it when we're face lathering. We just dip the very tips of the rest in and run it around. So with so many razors laying around, sometimes it takes as long to decide what you're going to shave with as it does for the actual shave. <laughs> Today was kind of like that, but I decided on a, a nice little G1 that I have here. And uh, these little chic Gs are they're really, you can pick them up pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Bye. You can pick them up pretty cheap. And uh, they do a really good job. There's places you can get blades for them. And the blades last a long time. And I thought it's not much of a drawback of having a couple of chicks around. If you like the more vintage, pick up a G is easy. The E's are not hard to find, and I like an E too. I think an E is my favorite injector, actually. But uh, it is definitely, without a doubt, easy to pick up a really nice G. You can pick them up cased with the vintage uh, blade magazines. And then you can take your modern blades and put them in the vintage blade magazine. And then, boy, you talk about a, a nice vintage type shave. It really is. All right, for a while we've been sitting there yammering, we got the first pass out of the way. Nice light old spice scent. So let's go back again. Get the second one going here. So we've got something new. I'm going to be mentioning it in videos for a while. There is now a toast YouTube channel. And I will figure out eventually how to link it to Shaving with Fuzzy here. And vice versa. But uh, we're going to try to keep people up on what's going on on the uh, on Toast. And there will be some, uh, you know, reviews of different blades and razors and things of that nature, I'm sure. I'll still have shave videos here. The original shaver is the one that's taking care of all that. It was his idea and he's, he's running with it. And, uh, you know, he's going to have shave videos. JR is posting some shave videos over there and uh, on different things. And then when you actually get to uh, Toast, there's a whole section of the form that is shave videos that different of us have made. And there's also over there in the uh, what we call our shave school section. There's uh, different um, instructions from some of the old vintage razors. We've got Micromatic, we've got uh, the 1912 instructions. Just off the top of my head, those are two I think of. I think there are some uh, valet instructions. Oh, speaking of valet auto stops, very excited. Very excited. So, as some people may know, uh, I spend way too much time on eBay sometimes when I'm at work. I get bored at work. I make the joke that I get bored at work and five or six days later all these boxes start showing up at the door. And it's kind of true. So anyway, last night I picked up something I think is going to be really nice in the uh, the Valet Auto Strop line. Very, very, very nice. It'll be huge. Huge! Yeah, maybe not that big. But anyway, I think it's going to be very nice, and I'm very much looking forward to it, and we'll see it when it gets here. Now, if you remember it, Toast, 
or if you go through and look I posted pictures of the thing I posted the eBay pictures because I don't have any pictures of my own yet so anyway if you remember over there you know what I'm talking about you're in the know oh get out witch hazel because that's what we use for our touch-up pass good old generic store brand nothing fancy about it witch hazel back and get a little bit more on here that way everything's nice and slick for the touch up pass and then it feels like we just need to do our normal touch up pass if I don't come in and dress up around the ear and under the jawline I don't feel like I've done good you know come under the neck here a little bit a little kind of buffing no blade buffing sit there and he's real short back and forward stuff that's blade buffing sometimes it'll help if you have a problem spot and then we're going to check out bottom lip because it's very important. Get that bottom lip cleaned up just a little like that and we're done. How you like it? I like it. I like it a lot. So there we go. Williams Wednesday with Old Spice. Not a bad thing at all. And I made it through without the electricity going out. That's a nice thing. Because that can definitely happen down in this part of the world. That the electricity goes, and it's gone. But there we go. So, uh, you know, I'll get it linked up. Check out the uh, Toast YouTube channel. See what Ordinary Shaver and JR and myself, and I imagine there'll be other people throwing stuff up on there before it's over with. Check out what we all have going on. It'll be great to see you. And come over to uh, the Original Safety 2. That's all one word. The Original Safety with the number 2. Dot com. All we're doing is single edge and injector razors over there. Everything else is unmentionable. Because that's the way we like it. By golly. And if you're interested in the history of Toast, just to give you a quick little rundown, uh, I just put a video up yesterday, I think it was, on the uh, Toast YouTube channel. There's kind of a history of it. It's just a real quick history that shows where we come from and kind of what we do. So, hey, come see us. Have a good day. I'm going to finish getting ready for work. Get out in this thunder. Happy shakes.